Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft PowerPoint presentation of version 2016. Here I opened this. Let's go to the home page. Now the, today I'm going to cover the topics of deleting boxes, inserting new slides, changing their layouts, word art, chart, table and shapes. So let's begin with our first topic which is of deleting these boxes because I know many of you don't like using this and feel like deleting them so for deleting this you are just supposed to click on this delete and then delete so you removed both the boxes you can do this by uh, pressing ctrl A you will select both the boxes then just press the delete uh, button on the keyboard so this is how you delete boxes now uh, I want to add a new slide so for this the shortcut key is control M so there I click on control M and a new slide appears the new slide comes with the layout which is being referred to the layout is a common normal layout so this was the first layout but which I uh, deleted the boxes so this is the second layout how to change the layouts uh, you have to go to home which you will be already always on now you can go search over here there I found layout just click it and then you can choose your layout so if you want you can change the slide so let's change it more you can keep it even blank so I want title only so I just put some title which is not basically title but that's how you add up a title now to remove this box again click ctrl a delete but i prefer you guys clicking on layout making it black so there is nothing left out the next topic is word art word art uh, could be used for uh, subtitles headings and other stuff right now i am going to use it as my front page so let's go to insert from the uh, taskbar oh sorry the main bar search yeah you have found word art there you have many choices like this in other versions of uh, ppt presentation you have different word arts right now i'm going to just use uh, this one so i can just increase the size i can type my text over here how to by right clicking going to yes, suppose click on this the box appears then right click then you get these options from here you can change the color I have to select the whole text yes now I can just change the color if I want to red I'm not happy with the red then I can change it to yellow or whatever you want to this is how you add up word arts you can add up more than one word art in one slide also i just click again i get one more i drag it here and this is what comes now i can just remove all this second word art so to go down to the next page the short uh, you can use page down button page up button so this will be an easy way if you are not comfortable with scrolling so right now I am on page 2 I am going to show you how to insert chart let's go to insert again then search a bit there I found chart now you have many charts in older versions you have only very uh, very less choice here there are many choice you can choose lines you can choose by you can choose area scattered you have lots of choices over here I am choosing pi because I like circles, I don't know why. So let's begin with this. Okay, I am happy with this. Then there is a table which pops up. It's going to take time to load. Let's just wait for that. Yeah, so 
this table comes up. Now you can add up more uh, quantities if you want to. So I'm not happy with four of them. Let's just change it to fifth quarter, and then we get one over here. But then I'll have to change this to point two. There I got it. So now I just save this, close this. There my chart is. Now you can just change the colors if you want to. Just changing the effects. This is nice. Now I can change the colors also. If I am not happy with the first colors, I can change it to whatever I want. So I like the first scheme actually. It's up to you if you want to choose something else. So this is how you add up a chart. Now I'm going to show you how to add up a table. Let me use a new slide for this. Again, using the shortcut key, Control M. Then we get this. To insert table again, go to Insert. Search for table. I found it. So now to insert a table, you're supposed to choose how many uh, cells do you want. So this is 2016 version. So you get a direct option of how many cells do you want. Maximum is 10 by 8, which is 80 cells. Okay. So now I choose a table of 4 by 4. Oh, it's too small, I guess. Let me choose 8 by 8. That would be nice.